What's up, lads? This is how to sign your next 10 clients as fast as possible. This is for marketing agency owners, B2B companies, freelancers who want to grow faster. If this is your first time here, you don't know who I am. My name is Daniel Fazio. I'm the co-founder of Client Ascension and ListKit. You can look those up. We're on pace to do about 6 million in sales in 2024. We have 47 team members. I've had over a thousand B2B clients, about multiple nine figures in client results. All my links are in the description. And what we're going to talk about today to facilitate this this action of signing 10 clients as quickly as conceivably possible. First is obviously getting more leads, how to get more clients as fast as possible. Secondarily, converting those leads into clients. So how to increase close rates and take rates. And then third and finally, getting those clients to get you more clients and how to make social proof flywheels. Let's start this off. So in the first section of getting more leads, the first method that you need to implement expeditiously is SEO optimized YouTube videos. So if you go onto my channel and you look back and, and you scroll down like towards the beginning, this is, this is what I did in the beginning is I just made SEO optimized videos around like how to make money online, how, how to grow followers on Twitter. Like those are some of my best performing videos of all times because they're just, they're, they just rank and that's it. So you want to make videos specifically for the purpose of ranking on search terms. There are two buckets of people and you're, you're selling to business owners. So there's two buckets of people those looking for entertainment and those looking for solutions. So you're not trying to optimize for entertainment. You're trying to optimize to provide a solution to somebody who has an issue, right? So business owners are looking for solutions. Here are the types of videos they may otherwise be searching for. Business owners watch this kind of content, software tutorials, case studies, industry trends, how-to guides, product reviews and comparisons, interviews with experts and tips and tricks. For instance, I have stuff like case studies, how-to guides, interviews with experts, tips and tricks. I have YouTube premium. I'll download these videos and listen to them at the gym or on a walk. And I, I, that's what I listen to. You see what I mean? So let me show you this tool. This is called VidIQ. And what you can do here is I have email. I searched the keyword email marketing and let me see if I can zoom in here real quick. And I, I did questions and then email marketing, what is email marketing, how to do email marketing, how to use MailChimp for email marketing, how to do email marketing for free, how to collect emails for email marketing, how to use Clavio for email marketing. So these are very hyper specific questions that people have in regards to email marketing. So if your service is related to email marketing, what you should probably do, what would otherwise be a very phenomenal idea for you to do is to go make videos specifically answering each of these questions that show up in the questions field in vidIQ. Just do that. Do that like 30 times. And the objection you're going to have at this point is, oh, I need to do the editing in, in, in the video thumbnail. This video you're watching right now is not edited. Most of my videos now are not edited. They get views. In fact, my best performing videos of all time are in fact not edited and they don't have thumbnails. It's just a screenshot from inside the video. So just do that. It makes your life considerably more simple. All right, so next is redistribute what's in your YouTube videos on Twitter or X and LinkedIn. So you already did the work of doing this. Just turn it into a thread format or post form. It is a written format and just put it on Twitter and LinkedIn. There's precisely actually zero reason to do this. The only objection you actually will have in this is that you have, I don't know, old colleagues or, or college friends on your LinkedIn or, or, or you don't have business people on Twitter. All right. So here's what I did. Just delete your old LinkedIn account or your old Twitter account and make a new one. Now you have a business one. That's it. That's what I did. Very simple solution, right? So method number three, high volume cold email. So you, you using an offer in the style that I'm going to explain in the next section. So make sure you, you keep watching because it's important to understand having an offer in the, in the fashion with which I'm going to explain to you is integral to make cold email work. In fact, it's integral to make anything at all work, right? So you want to go and email 10,000 to 30,000 people per month. So here's a quick software stack, domains, pork bun, admin panels for the actual inboxes, use Microsoft Outlook, email scraping, use listkit.io, email sending smart lead. I'll, I'll put the links in the description there. Um, and if you want us to help you build the system out, you can go to clientsengine.com. Um, method four, create sales assets. So I don't know what, con what, what, what to make content on, said literally everybody on the planet, right? So here's an example of what sales assets are. Uh, sales assets are. Sometimes... If you're on a call with a client, 
they're gonna they'll have some objections and what they'll say is like hey can you just can i just see some case studies before i go through with this or can i see some examples of work or like what kind of expected results would i be able to get or can i have like a breakdown or like a walkthrough of like what exactly happens here like after i buy like what am i getting which are all very reasonable things for them to request right now what you need to understand is that is that these materials if posted online i don't know why there's two words also generate leads so if you if, if if clients are asking you for case studies or examples of the work or the expected results or breakdowns of walkthroughs, just post it on YouTube and LinkedIn and Twitter and use it as a sales asset for when people request this material. Like just do that. In fact, the people, the leads that come through these materials are the best leads because you've already handled the objections that they would otherwise have. Can I see some case studies? Like they already watched 48 of them. You see what I mean? So not only do they help you close more warm leads, they also help you generate more leads in the first place. It is very integral for you to do this. We are constantly creating new sales assets over and over and over again. So second section, convert those leads to the client. So this is about increasing take rates and increasing conversion rates. So method number one, collect client, client case studies. There is no more powerful of a mechanism of influencing a human's choice than by showing them that other people are doing it. So you ever hear your mom say, if all your friends jump off a bridge, are you going to jump off a bridge too? And ironically, if you're like, I don't know, you're out on a river day with a bunch of friends or something. And, and like there, there, there's a bridge. It's like, it's like 30, 40 feet high. People are jumping off the bridge. Like everyone's jumping off the bridge. They're calling you a pussy if you don't jump off the bridge. Yeah, you're going to jump off the bridge. That's a very reasonable thing to, to like, it, it's fun. Like it, it, everyone's, ha you're here at this river to have fun. A bunch of people are jumping off the bridge. They're okay. In fact, they're, they're having more fun. So fun level has rose after the bridge jumping. Therefore, the social proof, like the, the perceived outcome of you jumping off the bridge, you're, you're, you're fairly confident it's going to result in an increase in, in, in life satisfaction. So yes, you jump off the bridge, quite literally, right? So this is the same thing that happens with the client case studies. There's a whole bunch of people back and forth over and over. This person's getting results. This person's getting results. This person, this person, this, these results, these, these results. It becomes very overwhelming. It's, it's. It's unreasonable at a certain point when you have so many case studies that so anyone would ever have this objection. Or is it? Are you sure it's gonna? Will it work for me? Like, yeah, dude. There's a lot of people this keeps working for. This is the single most influential thing you can do in your entire business. So everybody is concerned with what has happened to other people as the first and most important determiner for what they will do. Right. Therefore. It has been observed by me and the over 1,000 agency owners who have joined Client Ascension that the number one determiner of how much money you make in your business and your agency is directly and indisputably one-to-one -one correlated with how many case studies you have. How many client case studies are you able to produce? That's it. That's the only thing you need to do throughout the entirety of your business is just make new case studies over and over and over and over again, and that's it. If you don't have client results, like if, if you haven't worked with clients to even get case studies in the first place, you need to go work on a performance only basis and sign a lot more clients so you can get a lot of case studies as fast as possible. I cannot, I can I cannot accurately describe to you how important this is. This is the only thing that matters basically at all, right? So method number two, create a direct response style offer. Now this is, this is all very important material to understand that I'm about to share with you, right? These are the components that get people to purchase. There are four things here. So there's the specific claim, the guarantee, and the case studies, and the social presence. So let me walk through each of these. Specific claim, your offer states an exact quantifiable result that a client will get working with you exactly like you're doing right now. And it's why you're seeing this document specifically promise a result that is measurable, right? So guarantee. Guarantee that your prospects will get the specific claim. And if they don't, they get their money back. If you have no case studies, work on a performance basis and only get paid after you get results. If you have no case studies and refuse to have a guarantee or work on a performance basis, I need to make this extremely clear to you. If you have no case studies, 
and you refuse to have a guarantee or work on performance basis, you will never sign clients ever, no matter what you do, no matter it's cold email, cold DMs, ads, content marketing, it, any whatever fuckery you, 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 cho- you choose to engage in, I positively promise you, you're not getting clients. It's not happening. Like you, ju- you just need to understand this because there's this a, there's a category of people they just ignore that and they're like, yeah, I'm just gonna go sign a four thousand dollar client. I have no case studies. I've never done this before. It, it should be fine. And it's like, bro, you don't understand. And then they come to me and then they complain, which everything you're saying about getting clients doesn't work. It's like, no, bro, because you're not listening. You're not listening to the hard part. You don't get to skip the hard part. That's not how the, that's not how life works. You're not allowed to do that. If you want to be ripped, you don't get to skip the gym. That's not a thing. That that's not real. Right? If you want to have a if you want to have a profitable company, make twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars per month profit, have time, location, freedom. You don't get to skip this part. I'm sorry, it's not real. And if some if someone if someone is trying to tell you that you can skip this part, if you just buy my coaching program, or if you buy my course, or if you sign up with my agency, I'll get you clients without you needing to do that. It's fucking wrong. You're going to, it's not going to work. You're going to ask them for a refund. They're not going to give you the refund. This is, this is how this works. Like it's wrong. It's just indisputably, absolutely incorrect. You have to do that. Okay. Second, third, Case studies showing that you have delivered quantifiable results for clients. We went over that and then social presence. So here's what you also need to understand. You are default an internet scammer until proven otherwise. Someone say you're doing cold email. You you cold email a client. Um you cold email a prospect. What are they doing immediately after? They're Googling your name 100 percent of the time. They're Googling your name. Nobody who is interested replies without Googling you. I'll put it like that. There's not a single person who gets a call, if they're interested in your cold email, doesn't Google you. That doesn't happen. So if you don't, if you don't exist anywhere, if you don't, if you're not on YouTube or LinkedIn or, or Twitter or just fucking anywhere, just anything, or your website doesn't have a video of you, a VSL, it's not like, it's not going to work. You, you, you're a, you're in turn to them to this prospect, you are an internet scammer because you don't exist anywhere. It's impossible to see who you are. You have no reputation. It's like you're a fucking internet scammer. So you're not, so you have to have social proof. It's just, it's really just that simple. Now, so I put four things here. So there are four total variables. So if you have zero or one of the four variables, if you only have zero or one, you have a bad offer. If you have two out of four, you have an average offer. If you have three out of four, you have a great offer. And if you have four out of four, you have a hyperscalable company. So you need all four of these, right? If you want to like, if you want to sign clients on a reasonable timeline, you need, you need three of these, right? So I, so like what you would be doing is specific claim. If if you're more of a beginner, you'd go for a specific claim guarantee and social presence. That's what you do. Those are the three that you would be doing until you have case studies and you have all four, but those are the three you should pick, right? Now, the problem with a lot of people is they won't do this one, the social presence one, which is like one of the more powerful ones. So like, no, sorry, you don't get to skip that. Like that's not how this market works today. You don't get to skip that now. I'm sorry, but that's, that's just how it is. Like if you don't, if you really don't like the idea of posting on Twitter or LinkedIn or like a video of yourself online, I'm sorry to break this to you, but too, too fucking bad. Like that's just how the market works now. Like you, you're just not allowed to get away without doing that anymore. You just won't get any results. Like I'm just trying to keep it real with you. It's really just not going to happen. So as like a warning to make it abundantly clear to you, if you have less than two of these variables, it's capital inefficient, right? So this does not just apply to cold email. It applies to every marketing tactic on the planet. If you fail to get these variables, your entire company will fail. Like it, it's completely useless to even keep the company alive if you refuse to get three of these. It's you might as well if you're not going to have at least three of these, you might as well just fucking quit right now. It's completely useless to even operate this company. It's just not going to work. So just stop now. If if you're not going to do at least three of these, just like save your time and go get a job.
Now, if you do, if you do want to make this work, if you are committed to making this work, if you get three of these, it's definitely going to work if you stick with it. So, so if you're that guy who are like, yeah, now is my time. I'm growing this shit. I'm making, I'm getting a bunch of clients. I'm, I'm, I'm hitting 30 K 40 K 50 K a month, whatever. Go get three of these, at least three work on four and then you'll be good. Like it'll happen eventually. Like it does like you th that's just that's just a raw math that's just raw math equation like in, in math like it's physics right so uh get those clients to get you more clients produce case study interviews interviews right so so th the th the thing with this is that a lot of people they see case study or testimonials and then the the one they'll fucking fake them like no sorry that doesn't work like people know when they're fake and then it just hurts you and that's it. And you're just lying. It's like, don't do that. It's weird. Now, what you what, what is most important in a case study is it reveals who the client is, the specific result that occurred, and the time frame with which it happened, right? So these are client ascension case studies. These are just six of them. There's like, there's a shit ton. There's like a hundred. There's over a hundred, right? So Adam Hamden, zero to thirty-two thousand dollars per month at five months. Jake Romero, ten thousand to forty-five thousand dollars per month at six months. Stephen Batterina, two k to twenty-three k a month in three months. Dan Gibbs, ten k to eighty k at six months. Right, you get the point. Two k to twenty-five k in four months. Zero to ninety-three thousand dollars per month in fourteen months. Right, that you you get the point. Make those, make them interviews, and post them on YouTube. That's what you need to do, right? So sign clients, get results for those clients, document the results in a case study, post them on the internet, keep doing it forever, right? Also, if you would like to conceivably get results like this, you should join clientascension.com. The link is in the description. Now, method two, pay for referrals, right? So, so there's no such thing as free clients. You always have to pay. You always have to pay for a customer. Always in either time or money. You always there's always some expenditure that must go out in order for, to facilitate the acquisition of a customer, a paying customer, right? So, so you need to figure out what your cost to acquire a customer is. Let's say you're using cold email and you determine that for every 10,000 cold emails you send, it takes $350 of data, $400 of sending accounts and email software, and then 15 hours of your time. And every time you do this, you get one paying client. So if you value your time at $200 per hour, then the 15 hours equates to $3,000. So your cost to acquire a customer is $750 in hard costs and $3,000 in soft costs. So doesn't it make sense that you would pay a current client $1,000 referral fee? Because you were going to pay more than that to get someone. So it makes sense, right? So, so, Caveat, make it so that referrals must be directly booked through a specific Calendly link and that person referred cannot be somebody already in your funnel. Then it's just like, bro, what? Like, this is already your lead. You know, just make it so that. Um, so method three, testimonial hacking. You're going to pay for publicly posted testimonies. You're not really paying, but back when I was pushing the Cold Email Mastery course really hard in 2020, I do this thing every single month where I where I'd email the buyer. So context, like fucking 8,000 people bought this course. Like that, that, that course made over a million dollars in revenue. Just, just a course, right? So I do this thing every single month. I'd email the buyer list and I'd give them an offer. I'd be like, post a public testimonial on Twitter, make it contain how much money you made from the course, keep the tweet up. Let me retweet it a bunch of times and I will give you a free consulting call for doing this. And I'd get like 20 to 30 of these a month and I'd have a shit ton of tweets from people and you can you can take the link to someone's tweet and automatically schedule it to retweet from your account on this app called Hype Fury. And that's what I would do. I'd fill that shit up every day and it, all week I was retweeting people's testimonials constantly over and over and over and over again, constantly getting new ones. That's how this course made a million dollars. It was doing that. Like that's how that occurred. It's probably one of the best marketing tactics of all time. Okay, last uh, join Client Ascension. If you want me to personally apply everything I teach into your business so you can sign more clients, go to clientascension.com. Link is in the description. If you're a beginner and haven't started a business yet, go to internetmoneygroup.com. We'll show you how to make your first $1,000 online. Subscribe. I love you. Bye.